Hello, welcome back to C Sharp Programming. Now, what we'll be touching on now is a very important topic in programming. It's called loops. Okay. Now, a loop statement allows us to execute um, statement uh, statements of codes uh, multiple times. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, we want to write uh, output something for one thousand times, uh, even one million times, and one billion times, and so on and more. Now, in C Sharp, loops can be implemented using two ways a while loop and a for loop okay uh, two ways okay it's so while loop okay a while loop what happens is it will be while okay open bracket close bracket and this will be the condition that we have to evaluate and then open curly brace close curly brace and what's inside here will be the statement that gets uh, repeated then uh, in, in the loop okay so how the loop the works is that it will evaluate this condition over here for example um, for example if a is equals to b okay simi uh, assuming we have declared the variables okay so it's some random condition over here and as long as it's true we will continue to iterate through the loop until this condition evaluates to be false all right so this is very useful okay in programming i will um, go through an example now. Now suppose, okay, you have to read in and calculate the height of fifty people. Okay, that means you there there are fifty people and you have to uh, read in their height. Okay, and after that, after the loop, you have to calculate the average height. Now what we can do is, all right, okay, instead of um coding fifty times, uh. Height, height, height. Taking read height, read height, read height, read height. Okay, this will not be uh, efficient. Okay, what we can do is, okay, we can first declare a variable called total height. Now this will store the total height of all fifty people. Okay, next we're gonna have to declare a counter. Counter will represent uh, how many people we have uh, read in the height. So first it will be we assign it to zero. Okay, now. In our condition, what we can do is well, counter is less than 50. We will keep on reading the height. Okay, while well, counter is less than 50, okay, we do right line, okay, enter height. Okay, so in the loop, we ask the user to enter the height, and we will take in the height itself. Okay. But to double what we will be reading in, okay. Okay, so we have uh, what to repeat uh, from the user to enter the height, reading the height. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to do this. Okay, okay, what we are saying is for each height that we have uh, read in from the user we want to add it to the variable total height okay so total height equals to total height plus the height that has been read in so what it simply means is total height equals to the new total height is the old total height plus the newly read in height okay so this total height accumulates all the heights okay all right it's all uh, boils down to this assignment operator where the value of this and this gets assigned to this okay and after that at the end we do a counter it goes to counter plus one okay and it means the same thing as this again what it means is counter to o take the old value of counter at one then assign it to the new counter okay uh, now in C sharp we can also represent it as this counter plus okay this we do the same thing as this okay I will just comment it one away for for now uh, before it increments it twice okay so after this loop concludes we should expect that we will have the um, we can uh, we should expect that we have the total height okay we declare a variable for average height equal to total height divided by counter okay 
so total height because we have that total height accumulated down here and counter the cost this will count how many students we have okay once we have the total average height calculated we output it okay so the right line okay and average okay and average height all right okay let's try whether this um now of course if we execute this uh this will run 50 times okay so we don't want that oh okay should, should be while wow, it's less than okay so let's go through the loop again okay declare the two variables total height and counter now while counter is less than 50 we'll do all this uh, statements of code okay while it's less than 50 from the user to enter height within the height okay uh, add the height to total height increment the counter and next go back to the loop here and examine this again and then we go through this again okay now let's just do three okay and then we'll illustrate okay and the height okay let's say my height is 100 the height again let's say it's uh, 150 and the height again this is 200 now average height is 150 okay it's too fast so I will just do a console.read line again okay to show that again the height 100 the height 200 the height 150 average height 150 All right because uh, that's the average height All right now uh, let's go down and have a more detailed look at the loop so that we understand what's going on now to do that we can run this program in debug mode okay what happens in debug mode is that we are running the code line by line Okay, now to do that, we have to set a break line first, saying that when the code execution reaches this line, we will run it line by line. We, to run it in debug mode, you first have to um, declare line breaks. Okay, uh, let me stop the current project first. Declare line breaks. Okay, after that, we run it in debug mode. Okay, by pressing F5. Okay, run in debug mode. Okay, and the line that is about to get executed next is highlighted in yellow okay and if you do a step over okay if you f10 you go on to the next line okay so enter height uh, ask the, from the user to enter in the height okay just here 100 go to the next line now see height is has a value of 100 we can see the value of variables here in debug mode uh, by doing a mouse over which is very useful Okay, now height 100 and total height now is still 0, right? Okay, if we go on to the next line, now this will change. Okay, height is still 100, but total height is now 100. Okay, because 100 plus 0 equals 100 is assigned to total height. Okay, and counter similarly is currently 0, but after this it will be 1. Okay, now we go back and evaluate the while condition. Now counter is 1, 1 is less than 3, this returns true continue okay carry on okay from for height let's say i put 200 now okay i will be 200 and total height is 100 100 from the previous height carry on total height becomes 300 now 100 plus 200 okay now go to the counter one plus one you get increment to two now going back to examine the boolean condition over here again now two is two less than three returns true so carry on enter height okay and, and the console 150 this time around height is 150 total is 300 but after this height will be 450 similarly counter now is 2 after this it will be 3 now 3 less than 3 will, will be false so it exits out the loop and it executes this formula total height is 450 counter is 3 this divided like this you get 150 and then finally we do a console uh, output and that's it. So this is an explanation of using a while loop in C-sharp.